The 7762 is the outdoor version of our very popular and powerful 7962. It's dual band 802.11n access point that is IP67 rated for outdoors. Now let's take a look at some details of this access point and see the features that it has. If we take the antenna out of a 7762, you'll see that it's got both vertically and horizontally polarized elements. Now this access point has a total of 19 antenna elements. On top, you actually have accelerometers, so you actually know how the access point is mounted. And when the AP is mounted in different ways, it actually can change the pattern to best suit the client devices that are connecting. If you have mobile devices connecting and you have them in a landscape versus a portrait position, these different vertical and horizontal antenna elements are actually uh, activated separately to give you the best signal. Now on the back side, we actually see that we have the normal six antennas. If you were to look at any ruckus competitive access points, um, you'll see they have six antennas, three for 2.4 and three for five gigahertz. Well, the same six wires exist here, but the magic is back here. We have a control system that as the data, the energy comes from the wire, we actually direct it, kind of like a sprinkler system. We send the energy only to the elements that are really needed. And that's what gives you the beam flex, the adaptive antennas. It allows the signal to only go where it needs to be. Now let's take a look at the access point itself and see what that looks like on the outside. On the front side of the 7762, we see that we have PoE in. Now the 7762 comes with its own PoE injector. It's included. That also will power the device, the internal heater for cold weather situations, and PoE out. So if you have a situation where you want to power a security camera or even another 802.3AF device, such as a, a ruckus bridge, you can do that coming right out of this PoE port. On the back side, we actually see that we have two antenna ports. Now these are the five gigahertz antennas. So if you need to do some very long distance mesh or you need some reason to have external antennas, you can disconnect these, turn on the external antennas in the software and use these to extend range or coverage area. A good example of using the 7762 could be in a stadium environment uh, or an outdoor campus area of a college. You have lots of poles, lots of light poles, but you don't have any way to wire each of them. Well, with the built-in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios, you can mesh with that. It's also got 12 volts of input power here. So instead of, if you don't have AC power somewhere, you can use, say, solar to power. And there's a separate piece just for that. So mesh plus the ability to power this off of really any outdoor device gives you the ability to have a very good coverage, high throughput system with the 7762.